In this module, we continue our exploration of chic fragmentation by examining the simplest fragmentation method, the NOAC mode. As its name suggests, this mode operates without acknowledgments, where the sender transmits fragments without receiving confirmation of receipt. The NOAC mode introduces us to the first field in the chic fragmentation header, the fragment compressed number or FCN. This field represents a compressed, non-absolute number that repeats over time. Both endpoints must agree on common size in bits defined in the fragmentation rule. In our initial example, the FCN size is set to one bit, allowing for two values. Zero indicates intermediary fragments, while one indicates the last fragment, which contains the reassembly check sequence Let's examine the receiver side of our communication process. Here, we can observe all the fragments. They are numbered 0, except for the last one, which has its FCN set to 1. The RCS information immediately follows the fragmentation header. In this case, we can confirm that the RCS is correctly computed. Challenges can arise when fragments are lost or received out of order. If a fragment is lost during transmission, the computed RCS at the receiver will differ from the sent RCS. This mismatch leads to the rejection of all fragments, as the integrity of the message cannot be guaranteed. Sometimes fragments may arrive in a different order than they were sent. The RCS must be capable of detecting this situation. For example, when using ARCS based on a CRC, as the one proposed by RFC 8724, out of order fragments can be identified. In our fragmentation protocol, we can adjust the size of the FCN field. This adjustment is specified in the rule that's shared between the sender and receiver. For instance, we might set the FCN to use three bits. With three bits, we can represent eight distinct values, ranging from zero to seven. The FCN value, where all bits are set to one, has a special nickname in our protocol. We call this value the all one. Other values, six to zero, are used to number intermediate fragments. FCNs are sent in decreasing order, cycling back to six until the all one fragment is transmitted. This approach allows the receiver to reorder fragments before computing the RCS. Any FCN value that isn't the all one may appear multiple times as we fragment a message. This repetition is normal and part of the protocol's design. However, remember that the all one FCN is special. It appears only once at the very end of the fragmented message sequence serving as our clear indicator that the entire message has been transmitted. When the receiver encounters a fragment with an all one FCN, it knows that this is the final fragment in the sequence, signaling the completion of the transmitted message. In this module, we've explored the NOAC fragmentation mode, the simplest form of chic fragmentation. We've introduced the fragment compress number field and its role in fragment identification and ordering. We've also discussed the RCS and its importance in verifying message integrity. While we've seen how an extended FCN can help manage out-of-order fragments, we've also noted the protocol's limitation in handling lost fragments due to the absence of acknowledgement. This foundation in chic fragmentation prepares us for exploring more advanced protocols that address these limitations.